Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In the previous video, we have learned how to convert a list to a array. In this video, we will convert how to convert array to a list. In this case, we have an array called lang. Inside this array, we have the values of string type Java, Python, C, C++. So this is an array, right? Now we want to convert this array to a list. Now let's first declare a list. So how to declare a list? We already know. We need to provide your list of java.util interface, then type of the list. We will provide your string, then the name of the list. Let's say list is the name, and then a class which implements this list. Let's say array list, new array list. So this is our list now. Now what we want to do? We want to add the values of array to our list. Currently our list is empty, right? So what we can do? We can iterate through this array, and one by one we will store that values inside this list with the help of add method. Let's see that how we can do this. We need to make use of for loop. Then the type which is string. Here the name of variable. Let's say val. And then we will say here lang. So lang is nothing but our array, right? So what this particular for loop will do? Every iteration it will take one value from the lang as per the index position. The first time the val will have the value Java. So here is the variable called val. First time the val will have the value Java. Second time Python third time C and last time C++. So every time we will make use of this val variable. So what we will do, we will make use of this list. So we will say a list dot add and what we need to add val. So whatever value inside this val variable, we will add that into our list. And finally, we will print our list. Let's print it, this is out list. Now if I run this code, let's see what values we get inside the list. See, we are able to get the values as Java, Python, C, C++. We have printed the list here, right? And we have got these values. So whatever values were present inside the array, we converted that to our list. So the main statement here is this for loop. So what this for loop is doing, it is not doing nothing but just iterating over the array and storing each value inside the list i hope you understood the logic here how to convert a array to a list so that's it in this video we will cover another topic in next video thank you for watching